Hello again everyone. In uh, this video we are going to change it up uh, a little bit. Um, we are going to go over some front of the house uh, features. Uh, we have a few few customers out there that are requesting it. So in uh, this video we're going to go over uh, the payment types. And uh, so here we here is our front of the house and uh, we just have a, a set of so cheese sticks on this order here so we're going to go to the payment screen and on the payment screen um you'll see all the payment types that uh that redfish has and uh, we'll just we'll just go through them real quick um your most common one is going to be your cash and you can uh, uh start a cash transaction by hitting the uh the uh, stack of hundred dollar bills here and basically it will default to the price you can do a fast uh fast transaction by one with one of these buttons or you can type in the amount and hit OK um, and basically here you'll see the blinking change uh, that's given in uh, and that's pretty much it for cash transactions and that's going to obviously going to be your most common um, you can also pay by check which is basically the same thing as cash uh, just stores it as a check in the for your reports um, uh, credit cards are going to be your second most common so and uh, they they operate a little bit differently and we'll go ahead and do a payment by credit card um, so you would put the amount in hit OK and then you'll see this little box pop up and what this is we'll go ahead and slide the card that is the data cap software that actually handles all the credit card transactions the redfish is an out of scope software so n no sensitive cardholder data is is actually um, handled by the software itself it's all handled by the data cap software um, which is which is pretty good because it protects the merchant and the and, and their customers so we'll, we'll go ahead and void that payment off and you'll see the data cap software come up and void the payment off what it's doing is checking uh, transactions uh, against the processor servers there um, you can also do a manual credit card and uh, it also is done um, outside of the POS software and it actually when when the data cap software comes up it actually removes any uh, ability for the software to, to touch the to do anything until it till the screen is gone so um, you can uh, hand type in the numbers here um, and run your transaction we're going to cancel that transaction and let's see what else we have the last okay look, before we go to house payments um, one of the things you can do um, is you can split a check by uh, by seat so we'll go ahead and we'll put a couple more things on there go ahead and start a new seat there so now on your payment screen you have all these items that you ordered um, but you don't see them split up into individual seats um, you can do this so so if you order items by position um, or by seat number um, or if you split your checks up uh, for whatever reason you can do checks by seat which will separate the items into the seats uh, to the checks or seats that you uh, that you did um, here's also a split a split check button here um, it's just a shortcut same one on the desktop and you can unsplit the seat here and you can uh, handle your payment just uh, if you do a split seat it will just start start at the first one and then move on to the next one so seat one is closed seat two is still open um, so we'll close seat two out to a house payment um, and that's our last uh, payment type and uh, house payments are, are used for uh, all any kind of uh, transaction done outside of, of the software. It can be really anything. It can be uh, vouchers for you know for bartering systems, uh, for bartering with other uh, companies for goods or services, or um, it can be rewards or a lot of, for example, um, a lot of. A lot of companies that don't use the built-in credit card processing will process credit cards through a little external uh, machine. So 
when they swipe the card through the little machine, they'll create a house account that says external credit and um, they'll close out all those checks to external credit. Um, another one is uh, if you use a, a third party uh, gift card processor like GiveX, you could uh, close those checks out to GiveX. So we'll close this one out to GiveX. And once you're done paying, you can close table. And that's it uh, for payments. On We're going to go real quick and take a look at the, uh, um, the fast pay screen uh, if you're in fast mode or quick service mode. We'll go ahead and switch over real quick. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so now we're in our, our fast screen. And uh, what fast screen does is create everything. Um, all the payments can be handled directly from the, the screen here. So up here, you'll see you'll have your cash and your check and your credit. And uh, yeah, that's your discounts there. So um, you can also access, and, and this is done the exact same way, cash transactions. Um, you can also access your standard payment screen, which is what we just ordered or what we just uh, went over. So that's about about all there is to uh, the payments. We will, we're going to go over uh, a few more videos. Uh, we're going to go over uh, order by position, holding fire, orders, um, and a couple other things to uh, to clear up some, some misunderstandings in uh, front of the house. So make sure you stay tuned uh, to our channel, and we'll see you next time.